folks, this is Wayne Orr back for another lesson and another Smith's classic today, Shoplifters of the World Unite. Uh, absolutely brilliant song as always. Big fan of the Smiths. Um, not a particularly difficult one to play this this one in the uh, Smith standards. If you play it this way with sort of the open chords acoustically. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning and the first thing you want to do is a quick change from a G. Now I use the four finger G into an E major, okay? Gonna talk about the strumming pattern in a short while, but it's gonna go G, E, learn to love me in a symbol of ways. G, A, today, tomorrow, and always. G, A, my only weakness is a listy crime. G, A, E, my only weakness is well, never mind. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much your verse. There's only two parts to this. There's just a verse and then chorus chords. But I'm going to go and show you a different way that you can do the instrumental part in a short while. So then we get on to the uh, chorus. So the chorus is a G, a C major 7. So those who aren't familiar with a C major 7, take a regular C, take your first finger off. We're going to go into an A minor 7. So again, those who aren't familiar, take a regular A minor. Take the third finger off, that's going to give you an A minor 7. And then we've got a D sus 4. So basically that's, if you take a D chord, add your little finger on the third fret on the top E string. And then we're going to go to a regular D. So that in contents with the words. So we've got... Sharp lifters of the world. D sus 4, D. Unite and take home. A minor 7, D sus 4, D. Sharp lifters of the world. And then we go into another verse. Um, Learn to love me and assemble it in your G and your A. Now, today, tomorrow, and always. Okay, so that goes through exactly the same. Then you've got another chorus, which will be the same. And then you've got this instrumental part, which put, runs around the chord sequence four times. Uh, so you can do it, an easier way to do it will be with uh, you know standard open chords. So we'd have an E. Similar to what it does in the verses. G, A. G, A. Okay, well, to bring it out on the acoustic, I tend to play this really nice if you do it this way. If you use your first finger on the seventh fret on the A string, third finger, ninth fret on the D, little finger, ninth fret on the G, but we play all the strings you get this lovely shimmery sounding E chord okay so we got an E and you could do the G major and the A major as bar chords okay but I think it's quite nice if you take the bar off keep obviously the you know the E major shape chord on and put your third finger just on the third fret on the low E string so it'll be them playing, you know, the top E and the B string sort of open so you get this lovely shimmy and then move that up to, to the A shape. So you get this. Okay, so that goes around four times. Uh, then you're into the guitar solo, like that harmonised effect. So that's basically just going over the chorus chords. And the chorus chords from this point are going to run up to pretty much the end of the song. So that's going to be your G, C major 7, A minor 7, D sus 4, D. Okay, so those chords are going to run, run up pretty much to the end of the song. So just by having that structure, you've got pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song there. So that just leaves us with the strumming pattern, okay? So obviously off the back of that G, on the E chord, it would be a down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. So down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. 
okay? And then you got your quick changes, which is going to be the G to the A. Down, 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 up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up. So put that together, you've got... Okay, and then the chorus, the sort of half-time chords. So we got the G, so we got the down, 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 up, down, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So that'll be a down, 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 up. So down, 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 up, down. Okay, and structure wise, strumming wise, that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all dug that. Anyone who knows me knows I'm a huge Smiths fan and, you know, pretty much Manchester music in general, but the Smiths are definitely well, they are one of my favourite bands. And that is sort of a, a Morrissey lyric classic, that one, absolutely stonking tune. So I hope you all dug that. If you've got any requests for any other Smiths songs or any song in particular, 50s to modern day, you can either comment in the post below, or a good way to reach me these days is on social media. Wayne R Guitar, Facebook, Wayne R Guitar on Twitter if you want to give a, a follow on both of those pages. And by doing that, you could send me a personal message as long as it's a nice message, mind. And I do always try and reply to messages, so it is a good way to sort of reach me directly. Uh, it might take a while to get round to doing the request, you've got to appreciate it, that I get you know, loads and loads, but, and I do sort of hen pit them, but... Um, but please do keep them coming because that's, that, that's what keeps this channel going is, is your requests and the songs and tutorials that, that you want to hear. Uh, it's a free service. I love doing this. It's sort of a hobby of mine. Even though I am a guitar teacher, you know, by trade as a living, I'm a musician. I love doing this because it gets me out there. And so if you guys can share my videos and, you know, spread the word, that is very much appreciated. And I'd just like to thank everyone for the support over the last few years. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed. Thanks for everyone who continues to subscribe. If, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, particularly if you're a Smiths or Manchester music fan. You know, there's loads and loads up there. So you can, uh, not just this lesson, you can go and check those out as well. And uh, I hope you enjoy them. So that just leads me to say have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching. And I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.